guys, welcome to my channel, OG Decoder. If you guys are new here, I pretty much do decode questions and I explain things in the simplest way possible. Today, we have an amazing, amazing um, topic. I'm going to teach you guys how to debug um, problems on Leaker, right? So I'm saying, because a lot of the questions that we do, right, we um, sometimes don't know what really what's going on and how the whole algorithm works, right, and how things are getting passed around and how the dish structures are, how they're changing how we're moving stuff right so being able to debug and kind of see what's going on guys line by line right it's kind of a useful skill to have when using leaker right so granted this is a premium feature um it can be very useful if you have a premium account and if you're not premium you could easily uh copy the code and post an editor and debug yourself but but something special about the leaker debugger right i'm saying it kind of allows you to see what's inside of the data structures it has you go through the different breakpoints, right? So I'm saying uh, why I think uh, leak code, um, the debugger is very nice. Well, so uh, we'll be using a very, very simple problem to solve this, uh, to uh, see how to debug, right? So let me quickly switch to that real quick. Uh, so the question uh, is two sum, right? It's one of the, uh, you guys can probably can't, can't see it, right? You know what I'm saying, but uh, we're doing two sum right now, okay? All right. So we're in Tucson, right? So we kind of already know uh, how to solve this problem. I've done something different, right? So I chose this problem specifically because it's easy to understand and a lot of you guys have saw, I've seen this before, right? So pretty much first things first, right? I'm saying um, you, we, normally we have some kind of, um, let me zoom in more so you guys could see everything more clear, right? So right now we know we use a map, right? And then we put stuff in the map, all right? So we have a data structure, right? We add stuff to it, right? And we could do all these things, right? So we the algorithm is pretty simple, right? So how to debug, right? So pretty much you put. So first thing you need to put a, a breakpoint exactly where you want to uh, pretty much see what's going on, right? How it's gonna help you out, right? I'm saying so you put a breakpoint. Let's say we'll put a breakpoint right there, right? Because there's not really that much going on at the top, right? So uh, what we're gonna do, right? Uh, so we're gonna loop through the array I'm saying so we want to see man I don't really know what's going on I mean I want to be able to understand what's going on right so click on the console right I'm saying thing I was right there and you click on thing that's there uh, you won't be able to see it but uh, let me just move myself there's a button that's called debug there right so I will be um, you guys can see I will be debug uh, pressing the debug button right I'm saying let me just uh, put it right there and put it right there all right i'm putting myself right there real quick so you can see the debug right so right now uh like you said we put the breakpoint right in there press on the debug button right i'm saying very useful and it's always has the local variables you'll see how you'll be able to see everything that's going on the, the states of all the variables at that particular time right i'm saying this is what makes it useful as you debug a particular solution right say you get a solution from the, the discussion section right you copy and paste it in there and you really want to understand exactly what's going on, right? You debug can really help you in seeing, oh, okay, this is how, what's going on. This is how it switches states and all of those different things, right? I'm saying, uh, yeah, this is very helpful for, you know, recursion, all the different things. So let me get back to the topic uh, at hand, right? So uh, you see we X variable equals seven, right? Because that's what the target minus, uh, the target's nine, I'm saying, and the number that I'm saying, I is zero, right? Which means that the number is two, right? So we're able to get a so the, the x that we're looking for i'm saying it contains in the map the map has nothing in there and the map the map is empty right that's the data structure so you see how we can see inside of the particular data structure right it's a, in a pretty uh good way guys i'm saying you we go this night it's not in the map right because the map empty then we add in the map right uh and then we go back up right the thing and then we keep doing that right keep keep so pretty much the uh, we got a uh, particular things right so you, you, you press continue right and then it'll go to the next breakpoint or you could do the step over right to go on to the next to the next line right what i'm saying right so if you, if you see i press play right what i'm saying the next breakpoint is so it found one right what i'm saying so let me just redo it again so you guys understand exactly what's going on okay so uh, so I, I press on debug, right? What we need to do, right? So you see the, the breakpoint, it hit that breakpoint, right? I'm saying we could either do the play uh, the play button, which is pretty much to continue to the next breakpoint, or I could do the next step over, right? To go, um, 
to the next uh, line, right? That can be executed pretty much, right? And then we got the step into, we want to step into a function, right? And uh, never use that. So, or you could step out, I guess, what I'm saying, which is, or should be the opposite of uh, going inside the function, but you step out the function, right? So it's mine. So now you can see if I press play, right? It goes, to, it goes to the same thing, right? I'm saying, because that's the next uh, line break point that I had, right? So it hit that break point twice, right? You'll see when I press the step over, right? It goes on to the next line to be executed, right? Which is, it say, check, does it contain that element? It, yes, it contains that element, right? Then it's good, guys. You see how different it is, guys, right? I'm saying, so, yeah, so you see, it's pretty easy, just uh, just like you debug in any editor. So it's nothing, to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Too big but it is a very useful if you want to stay on lead code and you want to pretty much uh, have a streamline stuff right copy the code from the discussion section paste it in there go through line by line see exactly what's going on how the different variables are changing right it can help you be able to understand the solution further to really understand um instead of memorizing stuff right to see understand the algorithm that at hand right you know what i'm saying you could see it you know what i'm saying you could you know what i'm saying this can be very useful guys so if you guys found value by watching this video, you know, I really, really appreciate if you could give me a like. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe because I'll be doing a lot of those useful videos to help you guys out. You know what I'm saying so. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.